field. First time in 585 days since the finale of the 2016 season. One of the premier quarterbacks in the league will play football again. There's only about five guys on this offense that have even been in the huddle with them. That's how much turnover this roster has had in Indianapolis, a new head coach, a general manager just a couple years in. A lot of new faces that Andrew's looking at in that huddle, and I'm sure for all the football he's played, he's waited for this day. Through all the rehab, all the injury, all the PT to get his chance to get back under center, do what he loves. He talked about how excited he is just to get back to playing football. They say he's looking really good during camp. We'll get a first look at him tonight as he works in the shotgun on first down. Out of the backfield, Marlon Mack gets around KJ Wright, picks up the first down, and a nice way to start for Luck and the Colts as they move the chains for 17 yards. And they'll be without a couple of... Off the play fake, Luck. Throwing on the run, a little high and out of bounds, incomplete. Luck with time, gets it off, caught. T.Y. Hilton, his Pro Bowl receiver, makes the catch in front of Shaquille Griffin, and another first down for the Colts. They've ran that play for years and years. It didn't matter if it was Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison there at flanker for oh, 15 years or so with the Colts. This is just wide dig, and you give that receiver opportunity, run that in cut, and when thrown on time. At the backfield, Luck. Gets it up, broken up. Pass intended for T.Y. Third and long. Luck. That's caught. Rodgers with room to run. Bradley McDougal caught him. Looks like shy of the first down. It's going to be about a yard or two short. Aggressive. This was not just a couple carries for and handing the ball off for Andrew Luck. Frank Reich says, no, you haven't played nearly 600 days. Let's move the pocket. Let's get some play action pass, and let's go for it here on fourth and a yard and a half. Reich, the quarterback for a long time in the NFL last year. Offensive coordinator for the Super Bowl champion Eagles. Now in his first year as a head coach. Have to stay on sides defensively. Here we go. Out of the backfield, Robert Turbin. And the former Seahawk gets away from Bobby Wagner. Picks up a first down. You get traffic underneath. You're running guys underneath. And that's a man-to-man -man beater. That's no one. It doesn't even matter. Preseason game one, and there's there's no game plan. And you know on fourth and one, it's going to be man coverage. The concept there is the underneath traffic getting the free running back out of the backfield and the conversion for luck. Pick up a 14. Deep in Seattle territory at the 23. To the air again. Marlon back out of the backfield. Dancing. McDougal trips him up. KJ Wright forces him out of bounds. Well, Luck doesn't look like a guy who's missed more than a year. Didn't play at all last year, but is in rhythm already. And you don't see a lot of deep drops, some, some easy completions to running backs. I was chatting with Jim Sorge, the color analyst on the radio side for the Colts for the last half dozen years. He said, I think Andrews learned the value, and Frank's brought it in, of throwing to those tight ends and running backs. They do a lot of damage with those positions. The Eagles did so a year ago on their way to a Super Bowl title. With this opening drive, needing the eight. Luck to the air again, brings it down, scrambles for the first time, and he won't get it. Bobby Wagner, fifth round draft pick in the history of the NFL draft. Luck. Brought down, tried to play fake, it didn't fool Rasheem Green. Luck, standing tall in the pocket, thrown, but broken up. Flag on the play as Trey Flowers got there to swat it away. Under center, Luck, backing away. Right over the middle, wide open is his tight end, Jack Doyle. And Doyle going to fall forward. training camp. They're limiting his throwing. He's only thrown about 70 passes a, a practice. They're not going to overdo it on that repaired shoulder. But if you're a Colts fan wondering how comfortable Andrew could feel playing a game that it's been taken away from him for quite some time, he looks quite sharp this, this evening. Didn't play at all. Here comes the pressure. Luck. T.Y. Hilton. And right there on the coverage.